This is Dr. B. When we talk about strong acids, we're talking about acids that dissociate completely in water. You can think about dissociate as breaking apart, forming ions, or even dissolving. So let's talk about HCl, hydrochloric acid, a very common strong acid. We put HCl in water, and it's going to dissociate completely. That means we have our liquid HCl, our strong acid, and our water. We put them together, and the H's and CL's dissociate. They break apart into H plus and Cl minus, and they're dissolved in the water. Some common strong acids, and commit these to memory, they're important, are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, and nitric acid. Other strong acids you might see, hydrobromic, hydroiodic, and perchloric acid. For weak acids, only some of the hydrogen atoms dissociate to form the H plus ions. Most of them will stay bonded to the acid molecule. Here you can see for this weak acid molecule, acetic acid, the hydrogen ion is only dissociated part of the time. In a larger sample with more molecules, only some of the atoms would be dissociated at any given time. A good example of a weak acid is acetic acid, CH3COOH. And it's important to note that the H at the end, that's the one that comes off to form the H plus ion. You should be familiar with this equation because it comes up quite often in chemistry. Other common weak acids, we of course have acetic, hydrofluoric, and hydrocyanic acid. Let's try some practice. So looking at the image, what type of acid would this be? The answer is, since they're dissociated completely in water there, this would be a strong acid. It would also be dilute because there's not very much of it. Now try this one. You can see there are quite a bit of the Cl's and the H pluses, and that the H pluses are all dissociated. So we can tell that this is going to be a strong acid. It's also going to be considered concentrated because there's quite a bit of it. So what about HF, hydrofluoric acid? Well, since most of the H pluses are still attached to the molecule there, they're not dissociated, this is going to be a weak acid. It's going to be concentrated as well because we have quite a few molecules. Last one here. It's going to be a weak acid again because we only have a few H plus ions there dissociated, and it's going to be dilute because there are not very many of the molecules there dissolved in the water. This is Dr. B with Strong and Weak Acids. Thanks for watching.